Hi, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to give a quick update, quick motivational video, because I've just been so inspired. Um, I have been watching some of B. Simone's close friends webinars, and it just put a fire under me. It put a fire under me. It, it just gave me the push I need. It gave me so much clarity for what I've been struggling with. I've said in so many videos that I get lost. I get lost and I get frustrated because I do not have clarity. I have so many gifts. I have so many talents and I don't know how to make them all come together and make sense. And then it stresses me out because I feel like, okay, I only have a little, a little bit of time. I have limited time. Life is short. I need to hurry up and figure this thing out. I need to get it together. And she said something profound, something so profound on her webinar and she was saying basically, and I'm just paraphrasing because she didn't say it in these exact words, but she said, just get started and pretty much the clarity comes later. You don't need to know all the steps. You don't need to know the beginning from the end from the beginning because if we've seen what the ending really was, it could probably intimidate us and make us so fearful that we really wouldn't even want to start. You know, we barely want to start now and we don't even know what the ending is, but we're just so fearful. We're just so afraid of failure and opinions of other people. And what if the choice that I make is not the right choice? What if I'm doing the wrong thing? What if this is not the path that God would have me on? But I'm learning that I have to just take steps. I have to just take steps even when it doesn't make sense. I have to just keep putting action into what I'm doing. I have to do everything from a pure and authentic place because when you're trying to force it and compare your journey to other people and, and trying to catch up and you may see somebody is successful in this area and you're feeling like, well, they're doing and they're succeed succeeding, maybe I should do it too. And this is just, video is just a reminder for you to stay true to what you know you're supposed to be doing, even if you don't have all the answers to the moving pieces, even if where you're at right now does not make sense, because that is how I feel in my life right now, where I'm working, what I'm doing. I do not see how it has anything to do really with my gifts and talents in the bigger picture in life. But I'm like, I'm still going to be faithful in this season. I'm still going to use my gifts and use them authentically and and to be a voice you know and i know that i need to stay consistent because i know that lives are attached um to what i'm doing which i've said in plenty videos before but just to hear her say that today in this webinar it was like a reminder you know sometimes people can say the same exact thing that you already know and that you've been saying that you've been telling yourself but to just see somebody where you want to be i just see her story i follow i've been following her story when she didn't have anything she was broke and, and making videos you know out of her car and just kind of like documenting her journey and just seeing everything come full circle and even though she's um some of the things that she does they're not necessarily aspirations of mine but just her journey and her process is so similar to mine and just to keep seeing her fight and to keep seeing her push through and not know the answer and not know how everything made sense, not know how everything was going to come together. Hearing her talk about the different jobs that she worked before she even got to where she is now and how she was even faithful on those jobs that had nothing to do with what she wanted to do. But looking back, how all those jobs and those different um, opportunities prepared her for what she's supposed to be doing. It just it confirmed what I already knew. I already knew it, but just to see somebody where you want to be and to just hear them say it. Sometimes we need to hear them say it. And her obedience and her speaking out and, and sharing her story, it just reminds me of how important it is that I need to share my story. Even when I don't feel like it, I don't feel like it. I go long periods of time of not recording on YouTube. I'll be really consistent and then I'll go long periods of time because I'm just so frustrated and I just feel like who cares? Nobody cares, you know, why I keep pushing. But every time I'm about to hit like a certain breakthrough or threshold, I notice that that's when I give up or I just feel like, okay, maybe I need to just do something else. And again, if she didn't follow her obedience, and I'm just using her as an example, I look up to a couple people, but again, I like specifically was watching one of her webinars today and it just encouraged me and it just moved me so much. I went on and made a TikTok, which I've uploaded on my channel. That's going to be before this video. I just uploaded it. 
Um, it's something so small, but it's a hobby. It's a passion of mine. And I just kind of want to keep planting that seed because I don't know where it's going to take me. Um, maybe it may not take me anywhere, but it's it might connect me to the right person um, for the purpose that is actually meant for my life. It's, it's a way to open doors and um, get some exposure and maybe be able to connect with the right people that I do need in my life. And I know that in order to experience different things and, and network and meet different people, I have to share my gifts. I have to do it. Even if I upload, you know, 500 TikToks and they never go anywhere, I don't know who I've touched. I don't know who I've entertained, uh, whose day I made. Maybe I'm inspiring someone to go after their dreams and they'll be the one to, you know, become their, I, you know, the world's standard of successful. Maybe they'll see something that I've done and become inspired and they take that and run with it and make it their own and they actually succeed. And so in a sense, um, I've done my job. And I remember uh, Tupac saying something that was very, very powerful and that I always remember. And he, again, I'm paraphrasing, but he pretty much said like, I may not be the one to change the world, but something I say may spark the brain or the mind of someone that will change the world. And I just kept remembering that. And it just really pushed me like, I'm going to keep, you know, working on my skills, focusing on that. I don't even know if acting is what I want to do, I'm supposed to be doing. You know, I've always had a desire to, you know, want to release and di direct my own film and start, start my own film because I want that creative direction. Um, I want to put positivity in the world. I want a powerful movie that would be approved by God. You know what I mean? Like just something so beautiful, so powerful, but like a family can watch it without having to hide your kids' eyes. And it's just wanting to break through in the industry, direct and create things that I want to create. But it's just like, I have so many big ideas, but I'm like, I need people to help me. I need people to, to come into my life or like mentor me like I'm always thinking that like Lord I need this I need that I have no idea what I'm doing I don't know how to do these things I don't have the resources I don't have the money to be trying to you know formulate and put together all these things that come to my mind I've invested a lot and I'm sharing this because again this video is to speak to somebody the things that I needed to hear and I was able to hear not only today but many days I've been you know when I'm off of YouTube I'm still on YouTube feeding myself new information and listening to different people even if I may not agree with their beliefs or some of their lifestyles I I try to learn and glean like okay what are the key principles what are the trends what are the, the you know the consistencies that I'm seeing between all these people take the meat spit out the bone and I've been learning a lot I've been learning a lot and I'm just like man if these people weren't obedient I wouldn't be getting my soul poured into. I wouldn't be getting fed. I wouldn't be getting inspired. I would probably wouldn't have made half the TikToks on my on my you know channel that I made because I just needed somebody to say that word just to uplift me. Just to you know, sometimes we need that fire put under us. You know, we can't do it by ourselves. You know, and so yeah, I'm just hoping that this video will do the same thing for you to just get started. Just just do it. Just keep planting those seeds. And she also said something in the video where she said, uh, basically, would you rather like, and I've said this before as well, but kind of like go through life and not have tried at all and, you know, still struggled and be, you know, you're still struggling in life, period. Would you rather struggle pursuing your dreams or would you rather struggle in the everyday struggle, you know, just going to work, coming home? putting your hobbies and your dreams to the side and your gifts and not not um, utilizing everything that God gave you. And i rather do that. i rather struggle. i rather fail doing what I love than not doing anything at all. If, if, if everything that I do amounts to nothing or what the world deems as success at the end of everything that I've done, I still want to have a piece that I did it. I did it, I did it, and God will use it for somebody's good. Somebody's going to see it, and maybe it'll propel them into a certain area of life. But I just have no idea what's up ahead for me. I just wanted to document this um, because I know other people was going through the same thing. Like, you're just not clear. You're like, Lord, I'm fearful, but I don't even really clear, fully know what I'm fearful of. I have all these big ideas, but like, 
I don't even know where to begin. I don't know where to start. I don't know what to tackle, what to take on first. And all I'm just going to be doing is just planting seeds everywhere, planting seeds everywhere. And whatever direction it leads me in, I'm like, Lord, take me in that direction and close the other doors. That's all we can do because we will drive ourselves crazy trying to figure out, is this the right thing? Is this the right thing? Is this the right thing? Because there can be multiple things that aren't bad. You know what I mean? I line up like, okay, first let me pray let me make sure i'm not doing nothing wild that's against the word of god you know what i mean like there's certain things that's clearly like outrageous like okay shanice you can't do that over there you can't say that but there's some things that are not bad in of itself but it's like but is this the right thing is this what i'm supposed to be doing is this what i'm called to do and the thing is i got so stuck into that that <clears throat> excuse me i wasn't doing anything i was just stuck like i would use that to keep me stuck because i i really truly care about i want to live out the life that god has for me i don't want to just do things my way because when i just do what i want to do be just because i want to do it and there's like it has to be something behind it it has to be a why it has to be a reason behind it and i just want to make sure i'm on the best path possible to eliminate wasted resources wasted time but sometimes you got to go through those things to find where it's going to bring you to where you need to be. And so that's what I needed to hear. It was so freeing. I felt like this burden lifted off them, off of me. I took some notes. Again, like I said, I went ahead. I made a TikTok. Um, I'm going to work on some other things. And I'm just going to keep going. And it's just like, Lord, just use me in every season, even on my job. Like whatever I'm doing, just make it make sense. Let it fall in the right hands. Let me meet the right people. You know, maybe somebody watched this YouTube video that I have no idea is going to watch it. And this is what I'm going through now. And if you, you know, maybe somebody may feel led to connect with me after watching this video. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm like, I need to be faithful. I need to speak in other li other people's lives. I know that that's a part of what I need to be doing because I always come back to it no matter what. I always have that longing in my heart. I always have that like urge to want to do that you know what i mean so i know it's a part of it but i just don't know how it makes sense with my other gifts i don't know how to make things cohesive and maybe it's not for me to know at this time and i know that i just need to be patient i need to chill out you know what i mean and stop rushing and not worry about anybody else just remember that i'm unique this is my journey my journey is not going to look like everybody else's some people may look like they have overnight success and that's not my business more power to them but my journey may not look like that. And me going through all this to finally get to wherever it is that I'm going to be, whatever that is, um, that journey alone may be success because somebody needed to hear that story to, to um, push them to keep pushing. And that's what, you know, again, what me watching B. Simone's webinar um, did for me. It wasn't even so much about her success. I just seen it, how it led to her success. But it was her journey that touched me the most. So it just showed me that even if she wasn't where she was, but where she is, is the reason that I even, you know, it, it, it expanded her platform for us to find her, to even hear her story. And I think that's what it is. It's just, you know, not focusing so much on success per se, but sometimes you just having that platform and getting in front of those people so that they can even hear the message is really, really the key. It's the key, but also you don't want to get caught up in that. So again, I say all that to say it wasn't so much her end goal, but it was her story and her journey because I seen myself in her story and other people can see themselves in your story, whatever that story is. And so yeah, I just want to get on here and share this because like I said, when I get fired up, when I get riled up, you know, I'm just like, okay, I got to share this feeling. I know somebody else needs it and they're feeling the same exact way, especially in the year 2023. It was insane. Crazy. This was probably like one of my hardest, toughest years, you know. And so, um, yeah, I hope this was encouraging for you and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.